Hi and welcome to your new Render People tutorial. In this tutorial I'll show you how to create realistic mannequins and display dummies for your retail projects. All you need for this tutorial is a test scene of your choice and a Render People model which you can find on our website. Also, please feel free to download one of our free models, which you can find and download on our Render People freebies page. The method I'm going to show you will work with every supported application. First open up your project folder and extract the render people files of your choice. It is crucial to import both the render people model and the whole text folder. Now open up your test scene. If you want to know how to import render people models into your 3D application, please have a look at our previous tutorials. Within 3ds Max, you can import the model by using the Import Merge option. Now place your model in the middle of your scene. All textures and materials should have been assigned and loaded automatically. Now it's time to turn Stephanie into a mannequin. In order to change the appearance of the model, we need to modify her base texture. Open up the text folder within your project folder and start Adobe Photoshop. Now import the diffuse map you find in the text folder. Create a layer and fill it with a color of your choice. In my case, I will use a very light yellow to create a plasticky look. Now that we created the color layer, we need to define the area we want to colorize with this new color. Activate the masking on the new mannequin color layer. A white mask channel will appear next to the color preview. To create a realistic looking mannequin, we only need to add this new color to the areas of her skin and her hair. For creating a matching mask, simply add those included skin and hair mask into your project. Those two maps will deliver the needed information for adding the colors to the required area. In the Layers tab, arrange the new masks you imported so that they are directly above every other layer in your document. To merge both black and white maps so that you get an exactly matching mask for your project, select the upper layer mask and set the blend mode to linear, dodge or add. Now the black and white information of both layers will be merged. Now that the information of both maps is combined, you can create a perfect fitting mask. To finalize this merging, select both layers and choose the Merge Layers option by right-clicking. The last step we need to do is to copy this black and white map to the mask channel of the color layer we just created. Now select the whole area by pressing Ctrl A and copy it with Ctrl C. Now select the mannequin color layer and switch to the Channels tab. There you will see the mannequin color mask channel. Select the mask channel and paste your copied information into the empty mask slot. The black and white mask should now appear in this empty slot. Switch back to the layer view. You can now see that only the skin and the hair area of the model has been colorized and that the new color fits perfectly into the UV cutout. For showing the results directly in the viewport, rename your existing diffuse texture into Diff Base. Now that you changed the name of the unmodified texture, you can now save the edited texture with the same name as before, so that the material will automatically use this new texture as the diffuse map. After you have saved the texture into your text folder, check the viewport to see if the texture has been updated. If the texture has been updated, all of her skin and her hair should now be colorized and ready to render. Quickly create a bunch of different 3D people mannequins, which will fit perfectly into your retail and shopping visualizations. Thank you very much for watching our small tutorial on how to create 3D people mannequins with render people models. 